Today, we're gonna dive into a really hot topic at the moment, where we will all witness something spectacular. This is what happens when you combine creepy with stupid, and a pinch of entitledness of course. So our main character of today's story decided to stalk a girl he used to work with. He followed her and began playing music for her. So after playing one of his hit songs, the girl decided to run for the hills, and he continued to follow her. She ended up calling her dad on him, so her dad got his number through her and decided to call him up. And it looks like the call didn't go too well, because apparently he threatened the hero with violence. But fear not, and our protagonist didn't appreciate it, so he decides to report it. And yes, I'm serious, he actually called the cops on her dad for protecting her. The Cracker Barrel, and I was going to play a song for a woman that I kinda like, and uh, I got there, and she saw me and she immediately pulled away, and uh, I, I wasn't forcing her li to listen or anything, you know, I just wanted to play the song for her, you know, give her her own choice yeah. if she wanted to be with me, you know? Uh, does she know you? Yeah, I worked with her there for like five, six months. Did y'all have a relationship? No, we were talking a little bit, but it never really got serious. Okay. But anyways, I pulled up there. And I was in the other parking lot, and I saw her get in her car, and I, saw, I was like, oh shoot, it's my moment. So I pulled up there next to her, and she pulled away from me, and uh, so I chased her a little bit, just because, I don't know, women are crazy. Like, I felt like she, like, wanted me chasing her. Do you not think chasing somebody's crazy? Well, it's just like, I, I only went, like, a couple blocks down the street. I'm just saying, don't you think chasing somebody's crazy when they, when they obviously don't want to... Well, I had my song playing, and I wanted to like her to hear it, maybe. Well, apparently, but... she didn't want to hear it, right? So, what else happened? Let's get on with the story. Um, well, anyways, her her father called me up, and he made some threats to me and to my life. Okay. And so, I just want to have his name what, on what, file. What did he say to you? Uh, I think he said he's gonna stab me, like, but he, he's like cussing at me. He said that, or he did say that. He said he says I'm gonna do something to you. I swear, I do something to you. For chasing your daughter. Yeah, but it wasn't chasing. It was like going down a couple streets. Like, that's like fun to women. Like, women like that. A little no, bit of excitement. Don't. No, they don't. Well, women don't like to be chased. What about like? If I was a father, I'd probably tell you the same. I don't know. But apparently, she don't. Well, so, so what do you want us to do? Well, I just want you to get his name on file, just in case he does do anything do you, do to you me. Know his name? I know his daughter's name. What do you know his name? I know her name. I don't know his name. He called me from a restricted phone number. Okay. Here's, here, here's my suggestion. Leave her alone. He definitely has a charm well, with women. Like shit, I wonder what his secret is. Here's my, ah, here's my so advice. stupid. It's over, leave her alone. Okay. His fathers will hurt you over their daughters. Yeah, but that's the thing, is she needs to have her own free will, man. You listen, you gotta understand, listen, I'm a man myself, listen, bro, and listen, I have needs listen, myself. She, she's choosing her free will by telling her daddy what happened to you, and I'm telling you, stay away from her, because he will hurt you, probably. She's being controlled by him. That's, that's fine, that's fine, that's, that's her choice, right? Free well, choice, free will? I think she should go do porn. Okay, you need to leave. It's legal. You need to leave. Well. We're not doing anything, you need to leave. I'm, I'm having discussion on I'm having discussion telling you to leave. Are you threatening me with I'm arrest? I'm not threatening you, I'm telling you to leave. This we're is done. a public property. We're done. Well, you can stay if you want. If you if you we're if you if you do that on public property, I'll you know I'll leave you're, under. You're free. You're free to do whatever you want to right here, but we're not doing anything else. I'm just giving you advice. The girl doesn't want to talk to you. Yeah, but it's, there's something twisted about that. There's something twisted about the way you think. I, I was going to let her make her own choice after the yeah, song. Well, she's made her choice. And I just don't think she had a reasonable opportunity to make a choice because I'm going to blow no, up and I'm going to be a famous. Yeah, I believe this guy. He's like the next Michael Jackson. She actually did miss an opportunity of a lifetime here with this guy. This DJ, and I'm gonna be how, like. How old is she? Uh, two years older than me. Twenty-seven. How much? Twenty-seven. She's old enough to make her own mind. I'll speak with her. Is she working today? Uh, I think so. You have her phone number? Uh, I believe so. Uh, but I can't stop recording the video. Well, that's okay. I'll go buy her job. She works at right? Correct. Okay, I'll speak with her, and I'll get back with you. Okay. Alrighty, sounds All right, good. Go. Thank you guys. <laughs> Oh shit. You know what? You know what happens when women don't ever, you know, come to terms with themselves? The bad shit happens. I don't know. 
something um, the cops want to deny me trying to get her to be straight. So he continues ranting and recording the cops saying that they're not helping him. He even goes as far as to claiming that the girl was into it, like he's some sort of a kink. Yeah, she was so deep into it that she ran for her life and told her dad. Yeah, she's definitely playing hard to get for sure. Afterwards, the police dismissed him and he continues to record and rant in his car about how he did nothing wrong and that everything is perfectly normal and that it was her dad that stepped out of line. Like, buddy, you're lucky her dad didn't come face to face with you because I bet her dad would have loved to collab with you, if you get what I mean. <laughs> uh, don't leave. And there's more to the story, but I decided to leave it out because of how sickening it is. So yeah, after watching that interaction, this guy really pissed me off. Like, look at half the shit he was saying. Then he goes on to rant about it even more in his car, saying that he has every right to do what he did. This sort of behavior is unacceptable and should be highly condemned. Because this sort of encounter could literally scar the victim for life. Like, imagine what she must be feeling right now. Meanwhile, this guy's releasing music and pushing his head deeper up his ass. Like, is he even listening to himself? This guy should sit down and talk to a reasonable and calm-minded person, because clearly whatever he's watching or whatever idiot he's talking to or taking advice from are clearly not helping him. Afterwards, he continued to release more videos and more audits and more opinions about himself. Like, he's literally documenting his own downfall at this point. However, there's some light to the story, because as of recently, the sheriff's office has launched an investigation against the protagonist and arrested this guy for aggravated stalking and harassment. And furthermore, the investigation is still ongoing, so he could be charged with more things as well. So what are your thoughts on this situation? Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Apart from that, I am signing off, and I hope you all have a great day. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.